Greetings to you all. Uh, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Doris. I am back again with the fiction story between Likoros and Emmanuel. We entertain, we gist, and we bring trending gossips to your doorstep, and you'll be aware of what's happening around you. So back to the story, we stopped at chapter 21. So I am here with 22, 23, 24, and 25. And the summary of the ones I dropped yesterday was where Lico Rose met with uh, her mother for the first time. Because all this while, she has been asking her uncle, that is Victor, and uh, her auntie, Auntie Nora. And they've not been giving her good responses as regards to who her mother is. But... They later went to uh, America and that was the place she met with the mother. So let's see the reasons and also what her mother has to say as regards to this. On a quick one, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do that, okay? Turn on the notification bell by the side of the subscribers button that whenever I drop my videos, you will be the first to be alerted. And also, recommend this channel to people out there so that they will join this channel. Tell people about this channel, please. The Lico Lions, the Emirates, the Imaro Shippers, please do me this favor, okay? Chapter 22. Mrs. Afije, that is Lico Rose's mother. She now said, your dad passed away when you were a baby. They killed uh, her husband, she said, crying. So, Rose asks, so auntie is now who? She, she was the commander-in-chief, replied Mrs. Afije. Nora and her husband took the responsibility to raise you. Luca Rose stared at Aunt Nora and was so shocked. Aunt Nora said, whatever we did, we did it to make you strong. Luca Rose looked at her husband and asked, do you know about this? He turned his face at his parents and looked back at Rose and said, yes. You never bothered to tell me, replied Rose. Emma said, when I traveled to America to complete my studies, then my mom told me someone wants to meet up with me. I went there and met my parents with this lady and Auntie Nora. So Emmanuel's mom now said, I want you to get married to this girl. Emmanuel said, I can't because my heart belongs to another person. He told her, Emmanuel is now telling Lico Rose what happened, how it all happened, how he was able to know Lico Rose's mother because he's aware of all those things. But Lico Rose in question, she's not even aware that the mother is still alive. So immediately, Emmanuel's mother gave Emmanuel a picture and when he looked at the picture, it was his crush. I couldn't refuse because I have been loving you and the lady told me she's your mom said Emmanuel. Hope you're understanding this. She wants you to become mature enough to handle things. When Emmanuel was done with his explanation, Luca Rose was too shocked and speechless. I lived my whole life in lies and pretense, said Luca Rose, crying. Emmanuel tried to touch her and Luca Rose moved backwards. Mrs. Afije now said, they killed my husband and was after my child's life. So I gave it to Nora to carry you to Nigeria. She couldn't say a word, just sitting and tears kept running down her eyes. So that was why everyone was looking at me like one god in that hostel. Lucoros asked Emmanuel. Emmanuel said yes. Emmanuel said, your mom is running for president. Luca Rose turned to her and said, You know there was a time I need my mom the most, as she was crying. When I had my first heartbreak, I needed my mom most. I needed someone to lay my head on the lap and cry. There were a lot of things I needed my mom the most, but she was after her political ambition. She couldn't stand seeing those pretenders around her, so she walked to her room and her husband followed her. She entered and locked the door. Chapter 23 Open the door, babe, Emmanuel said while knocking. Go away, Lucoro shouted. You lied to me again and again. I told you no more lies, said Lucoro. I was helpless, my love, replied Emmanuel. She sat on the couch and started crying. She cried enough, then took her phone and called her girls on conference call. Emmanuel and Ella said, hi, I 
incoming mom. She couldn't even respond, so she started crying. Emmanuel Andela said, what is wrong, babe? She said, I lived my whole life in pretense. They lied to me. Emmanuel Andela said, who, babe? She shouted, everyone. Ella said, come down and explain to us. Ifama said, yes, babe, what really happened? She cried for a while and explained all to her friends. Ifama and Ella said, what? They were shocked just like her too. She couldn't stop crying. Ella said, can you listen to Emmanuel's side of the story? Rose said, he keeps lying to me. Ifama said, I think he had no choice but to follow his parents' instructions since he was already crushing on you. Ifama and Ella said, we can understand how you are feeling now. Can you guys come over here tomorrow? Rose asked them. Of course we can, but how will we meet you because you are a public figure now? Ella replied. Rose said, if you guys reach, just test me your address. They talked and then found themselves laughing again. After two hours of communicating, the call finally ended. Luca Rose owned the television and changed the channel to BBC. She was shocked to see her photo and the journalist giving news about her and her mother. She was so pissed, so she offed the television and went to bed. The next morning, she waked up very early, took her bath and called the room service for breakfast. When the lady entered, she saw the media and press around her questioning her. Her husband came with Jerry and they took her out. What was all that? Lucorus asked her husband. You're a public figure, so start getting used to it, he replied. They reached a very beautiful building then. Her husband told her to get down and they entered. When they entered inside there, she saw her mom running to her. My child, she said while hugging her with a teary eyes. Chapter 24 she was shown her room. The room was so big and beautiful. Have a rest, small. Someone will bring you food, then we will discuss later, said her mom. The next morning, she waked up and saw her husband staring at her. Do you want to kidnap me and say that you, you are not aware that it was me? Luca Rose said to her husband, walking inside the bedroom. She took her bath and came outside their room and met her mom sitting in a very big living room. Come, my queen, I've been waiting on you, she said. She carried her to the small room and she was shocked. She saw her childhood pictures to the present day. I've always been there, my child, she said. She showed her the pictures of her graduation and wedding, both traditional and white wedding. She could see the pains in her eyes. She came closer to her and said, I wish I was there for you. I told Nora to enroll you in the best university in Nigeria. Just then, Luca Rose remembered that she was in one of the best universities, even though her auntie disliked her, but she went to the best university in Nigeria. I never stopped loving you, my baby, her mom said to her with tears in her eyes. She ran and hugged her with teary eyes too. Let's forget the past and face the future, said Rose. She shook her head and started crying, then put kisses all over her. I couldn't be the best mom. I want to be the best grandma, she told her with joy. She could see the joy in her face. I want to show you something, she said. She carried her to another room and she couldn't believe what she saw. Her mom has already prepared her baby room with lots of baby toys. She can't wait to meet her grandchild. She was speechless and she was crying at the same time. I love you, Mrs. Afije, she told her. Call me mom, she said. She now said, okay, mom. It's better, she replied with joy. They laughed together. Then her mom said, Emmanuel loves you. She looked at her and her mom said, don't give me that look. She smiled and hugged her again. Let's forget Emmanuel for now and discuss about us, Luca Rose told her. Her mom said, if you insist. Then Luca Rose said, I insist. They just stared for the whole time. Chapter 25 Luca Rose told her funny things during her childhood. She laughed so hard. She told her about her girls. She also told her that she's good at dancing. She did freestyle for her, her and she kept on smiling. 
After they were done, they went back in the living room and Emmanuel came and hugged her and said, I'm so sorry, Rose, he said. Luca Rose knows that her husband was truly sorry. She could see that in his eyes. She kissed him and said, I could do same if I was in your shoes. He couldn't stop smiling. Are we cool now? He asked. Of course we are, babe, she replied. Just then, Jerry came and told her that her friends are outside waiting for her. She told him to allow them in. Her friends entered and they did their normal thing they normally do whenever they meet. Her mom couldn't stop smiling. She introduced them to her mom and she told the maid to show them to their own room. After a few hours, they went for dinner. Ella ate like a pregnant woman. Are you pregnant, Ella? Rose asked. Ifoma said her attitude has changed though. She behaves like a pregnant woman like you. Then, Luca Rose said, Winston, you need to come and explain here. Everyone laughed. Then Luca Rose said, congratulations, babe. Ella said, I'm not pregnant though. Luca Rose's mom couldn't stop laughing. Just then, Winston entered. Then Luca Rose said, thank God you are here. Ella was busy smiling. Ifoma said, Ella, stop blushing now. Then Emmanuel laughed. Luca Rose said, so Winston, you allowed another person impregnate her? Everyone laughed. Winston said, are we discussing it here, Rose? Luca Rose said, should we call a conference meeting for it? She laughed. Winston said, she. After they were done, Luca Rose and her husband went into their own bedroom. Emmanuel said, I'm addicted to you. I missed you. Luca Rose said, ow, I missed you too. They, they hugged and kissed each other. Hmm. I'm loving the story. I'm loving it. And I, I believe you're enjoying it too, wherever you are reading this story from. And um, I'm learning something too from this story. And I believe you're learning things too. I can see from this story that Lico Rose is such a humble personality because she was humble. Even when Emmanuel married her newly, Emmanuel was showering her with love, with cares, with gifts. She was like that, uh -uh, is it not enough? Is this thing that you're doing, is it not enough? Even unknown to her, her own mother is even very rich living in America and she's not even aware. So, but she was humble and she stayed pute. So even with or without the money, she's still humble. And also what her mom did to her, ah, it's too painful. When she needed her most, she wasn't there. But her mother accepted her mistakes and apologized. And Liko Rose accepted and forgave everyone that, because almost all of them, they were aware of the situation on ground. She was the only one that didn't know what's happening, that they pretended all true. So they apologized and she accepted and forgave all of them. I believe you are learning one or two things from the story. So I will be coming back with the remaining chapters. We stopped at chapter 25. Hopefully I will be coming back with more chapters. Okay, just take care of yourselves. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel. My name is Doris. Till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.